Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create dedicated shop pages for each of your categories. Now, currently there are two ways to do this. One, you can create links to specific categories on your main shop page, or you can even add a brand new page, add a shop element and apply a category to it. Now these are two different methods and there are different use cases for when you might wanna use one or the other. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you both methods. So let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we hop into the editor, I just simply wanted to show you the back end of our website and show you that the different products categories I've created. So I've created categories for the different types of products like accessories, hoodies, jackets, joggers. I've also created categories for men and women. And I've even created some example categories for new arrivals and best sellers. So I just kind of want to show you the different categories I have set up for this video so we can just jump right into the editor. And the first thing I kind of want to show you is let's say we wanted to promote our jackets, right? So the first method that we can link to a category page is if we click this button here and link it, we can choose to link it to our shop page which is also named category page, and we can link it to a specific category. Just like that, it's pretty easy. Now, what we can do is then press preview and go to shop jackets, and it's gonna take us to the jackets category. However, one thing you might notice here is it's gonna show us all of our jackets, right? Now, the cool thing about this is you know, once we are on this page, the user can then come over here on the filter. If they're a man looking for men's jackets, they can click men or vice versa for women as well. So we have these different filter options down here that are really nice to use. However, let's say if we scroll down here on the home page, we want to link to a specific page for all men's clothing. And maybe we wanted a specific page for only women's clothing as well. So we can actually do that very easily. So what I'm gonna do is come over here to pages in the top left. I'm gonna add a brand new page. And what I'm gonna do is call this one shop and I'm gonna say men's, okay? And then with this section, I'm gonna do a little bit of prep work and I'm just gonna add 5% padding on the sides and then we'll add 32 pixels on the top and bottom, just like that. And then for the content here, all I'm gonna do is come over to add, go to store and under grid product gallery, we're just gonna add this one right here. And then once this is added, we're simply just going to stretch it. And for this, what we're actually gonna do is come over here to settings. And what we're gonna do is under category, since this is the men's page, we're just gonna select the men's category. And so it's not gonna show any of the women's clothing in this view or this page. And then what we can also do is come over here to filters and show filters, which I really like this because on the men's page, we might have different pants, we have joggers, we might have new arrivals or best sellers. So it's allowing the user to go ahead and select different products under the men's category, which I really, really like this feature. And so what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and duplicate the shop men's page. But for this one, I'm gonna say woman's and I'm gonna remove the copy of, okay. And then for this page, I'm gonna go into settings and under the category, I'm just gonna make sure that we select women's category. Now I will say with this category, I have not added images quite yet for the woman products, but you kind of get the general idea. And it's the same way where the user can then select further categories that they want for the woman's section here. And then last but not least, if we check out the homepage again, at the very bottom, we had best seller. So maybe we wanted to have a page dedicated to only our best selling products. So again, similar to what we did with the shop woman's, uh, we're just going to duplicate this page and we're going to say best sellers. Perfect. And then if we grab this and go into settings, under the category selection section, we're just gonna select best selling products. Awesome. So if we go ahead and press preview, you're gonna see we had two women's joggers and two men's joggers in this different selection. And so over here, you'll notice that we don't have any of the other categories here. We don't have like pants, hoodies, accessories, or anything, because in the best sellers category, I only put joggers. So the only categories that we see here are for men, which are the men's joggers. We have the women's joggers. And if we just select joggers, it's gonna show all four. And then additionally, there are some products that are in both bestseller and new arrivals. 
So that would be here for a single product here. The last thing I kind of want to show you is, let's say we wanted to add one of these like best sellers to our menu here. So let's go over here to manage menu. We're going to add a main page and we're going to add, let's say the shop best sellers. You're going to notice it adds shop dash best seller here to our thing. So you have two options. One, you can rename the page to just say best sellers. However, I typically like to have that there just so I know it is a shop page. So what I like to do is go ahead and remove the link. Then I'm going to rename this to just best sellers. And then if you go ahead and click on the three dots again, you can go ahead and add a link and we can just link it back to the best sellers. And that's kind of a, a workaround to get around so you can name things in your pages differently than how they're named on your menu. So it's a little bit of a workaround and yes, it's a bit more of a process, but again, I like to know that these are shop pages and so I don't accidentally link to them when I, I don't mean to link to a specific shop page. That is how you create these different shop pages for your different categories. And oh yeah, the last, last thing I want to show you guys before we end the video is we of course need to actually come back to the home page and we actually need to link these buttons. So this whole container here, I've basically created a button and I made it 100% and I set the opacity to zero and zero. And then if I go ahead and say change text, you can see I left it empty. So that's kind of how I created like this, this whole button that covers the entire container, but we still need to link it, right? So just like any other button, you would link this to the shop men's. Then for this one right here, we would of course want to link this one to shop women's. And then the best sellers thing right down here, of course, we would then need to link this one to shop best sellers. And just like that, everything will work nicely on our website. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.